Hello, I'm Lee Cole, and I'm glad you could join us today. Listen, you're in for a treat, and I'm in for a treat. We're here today with Zig Ziglar, and I'm just honored to be here because of the positive impact he's had on millions and millions of people worldwide, certainly including myself. So we're just going to have a little discussion and invite you to join us. Zig, thanks for being here. I really appreciate your time. Well, I'm grateful to be here. You know, I frequently remind uh, folks that do nice things for me how grateful I am for what you're do going to be doing for me and help people out in the community. Great. Good deal. Well, listen, I know we share the belief that success is never achieved alone. It's achieved with many, many others along the way helping us in our, in our journey. Would you mind sharing with us maybe one piece of advice or some person that was particularly important in terms of them helping you be successful and along the way for you? Uh, one thing that I would really emphasize was to remember you need to be a constant student. You need to keep up with what's going on in the community. Take care of the home court in your life. You'll have a much better chance of being successful out in the community. Excellent. Good deal. And was there a particular person, I think I remember reading about uh, Fred Smith having an impact in your life as a mentor. Can you tell us about him? I sure can. Uh, Fred Smith was the wisest man I ever knew. And uh, I met him by accident, some people would say. But he, for whatever reason, decided that uh, he'd like to encourage me in the proper way. He was a very wise man, and so he spent a significant amount of time with me. And I would ask him questions, and listen, he could answer any question I ask, and that was <laughs> very helpful to me. Uh, he's great. with the Lord now, but uh, he was really wonderful for yeah. me. It's a real blessing to have a mentor like that, isn't it? That's the only one I've ever, ever really? had. Really? Sure was, yeah. Wow, that's terrific. I know one of the mentors I had uh, earlier in my career, actually I was in graduate school, as a professor of mine, it really helped me with a piece of advice that he said, he said, the key to success is not necessarily needing to know everything now. The key to success is being able to plug up your ignorance within 24 hours. So, and I think now it's down to, with all the technology, down to just a few hours. But that really helped me kind of relieve some of the pressure of needing to know everything and knowing that really part of my goal to be su successful is to be able to access things. And, and having a mentor is a key person to be able to tap into to be able to kind of plug up those pieces of knowledge that we need. That's uh -huh. great. Well, you know, with, with all the successes you've had over your long, just, you know, wonderful career, uh, I'm sure there may have been some failures along the way or some, some missteps. Can you share maybe something, <laughs> uh, maybe something that went wrong that you didn't plan on and, and maybe how that turned out? Well, the reality is I've been so blessed and so fortunate by having the right people mm -hmm. helping me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why so many people were willing to do that, but uh, since they were willing, I was willing to accept it. Uh. I believe when you can get the input from people who are wiser than you are, that you'd be very foolish not to use that as a benefit. And Absolutely. I did that and had a lot of people but uh, you, you, that you, you were so kind to me, I, and I'm talking about really great people. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. So really the, what we're saying here, too, is that, that uh, uh, having the right mentors and the, and the people around you really can kind of help kind of minimize the risk of having those missteps. And, and it sounds like you've had a, gr a great group of people around you to be able to do that, kind of keep you on the path. Uh, yeah, and incidentally, I have a wall of gratitude with about 20 people on it that, that. Uh, also came along, you know, and that was very, very helpful. That's wonderful. You know, one of the things I always talk about is, is having your, your best team, you know, buddies that encourage success and truth, B-E-S-T. And I think it's key to kind of have a group of people around you like that that really are willing to tell you the things that you don't want to hear uh, to help you be successful and have a vested interest in your success. And it sounds like you've had a great best team around you. Good for you. Well done. Uh, Yes, I have. And, uh, you know, in athletics, they talk a lot about the home court advantage. Uh -huh. I've been so fortunate to have a very wise mother who was mm -hmm. great and had the most common sense of anybody I've ever known. Then I had the good fortune to marry the prettiest girl I had seen. And we've been married now for over 60 years. Wow, and, congratulations. Uh, she was the fifth smartest in a class of 400. So I've, <laughs> God has just put the right person in my life all the time. Great. Good for you. Good deal.